big appeals of this place is how quiet it can be in the solitude you can find here. The maze that the time frame to build up the formations and then the slow erosion that uncovers what was done. Coastal is always changing, it is always evolving. There are layers of sandstone. Between those layers of sandstone, there are layers of clay. Clay is pretty soft. <laughs> so we get these actual toadstool formations because that clay gets eroded away beneath that sandstone. So you get this huge piece of rock standing on top of this little pillar. It looks a little bit like a toadstool. We saw a picture that was taken up here in the hillside and it looked so unusual, we said we just have to see it. Are you ready to see some more? Yeah. Okay. So we altered our plans so we could take this in. There's our next post fall too. Nice. It is a place where you can actually walk back through time and get a chance to visualize what life was like before we were even here. It's pretty cool. You can get to see tracks from critters that were running around here 30 million years ago. We've been hiking a lot getting into the rock and seeing what we can find. It's just fun for us. I kind of use my hands to climb the rocks and steep. My dad helps me um, climb the steep parts. You come out to a place like this and you can't imagine why anybody wouldn't love this. It's just so spectacular. It is a hidden treasure. Toadstool is one of those gems that not many people know about. It's off the beaten path. It's lots bigger than I thought it would be. There's a lot more formations. It's nice to just not think about anything and just enjoy what you're doing, walking around, taking pictures and I really worry about anything else. That's kind of why I like coming to places like this.